Uh, before we start, let's do a quick show of hands. How many of us believe that continuous integration, CI, is an integral part of the development process? Please raise your hands up. OK, cool. Uh, keep your hands up. Uh, if, if, you, if your CI takes less than 30 minutes uh, to produce stable build artifacts after running all the available tests. That's nice. Uh, what about 15 minutes? What about 10? Wow, cool. So we have at least two people here who can help us out if you, are, if you have any questions. If you have any questions, you can reach out to them definitely. Uh, in our case though, around 10 to 12 months ago, our CI system used to take around 60 to 90 minutes uh, to produce stable build artifacts after pulling the code, building the code, and running all the available tests. Now that's a pretty, that's a pretty slow uh, time there. And it used to get really bad if the test failed. Because uh, if, like, you know, while the prior build was running, multiple developers would commit their code. And uh, now to go and isolate which commit actually caused the problem, and then to fix the commit, it would take further four to five hours to get the next set of stable build artifacts. And you can only imagine a situation when uh, there was a mistake in isolating the problem or fixing the problem. It used to be much more longer. Now, clearly, the team, team was not happy about it because our ability uh, to get quick feedback, to quick, quickly learn from it, and to take a course correction, that was getting impacted. Now, having these long-running build cycles also had a you know, specific developer behavior impact. Like, they were, they were discouraged from committing their code frequently. Because if they commit their code frequently and you know, the build fails, then now they have to spend their time in uh, making sure that you know, whether they were the cause of the problem or was it someone else. So it's a waste of time. Uh, they were also afraid of committing their code during evening times. I mean, you can imagine, right? If I commit my code during evening, and if my build fails, boy, my entire evening is lost. So they'll prefer to keep their code on their machines and come next day morning and then commit their code. Now that leads to other problems. Like the longer, the, the, the far, the more away you are from your repository, it takes longer time to integrate the code with the repository. So it's a waste of time. And God forbid if uh, the hard disk crashes, then your entire efforts are lost. Now these are you know, profound business impacts. But apart from these business impacts, there are also some social impacts. Like me, uh, has anyone been in a situation when you had to stay back late night uh, to integrate your code with your colleagues uh, just because your CI system uh, does not exist at the first place, or your CI system takes longer time to run? Anyone? OK, cool. OK. Have you been in a situation uh, when you had to rush back home, uh, living behind an unstable build, just so that you don't miss uh, the dinner with your family or friends? OK. This is how your colleagues would be looking and pointing at you when that happens. Or have you decided to uh, stay back, make sure that the builds are successful, all the tests are passing, the build artifacts are produced, so that you're